So, AW, very quickly, we had the negative one birthday party, which I thought this whole segment was so much fun. They do a birthday party for the kid, and then Luther comes out, and he's a diabolical bad guy. And so, of course, he gets his head put in the cake. They have a really fun wrestling match, and the Dark Order wins. But then, of course, Hangman, it's his opportunity to say whether he's going to join or not, and he will not join and he left through the heel entrance because I guess he feels he's a bad person. Which, if that's the case, like, you should join the Dark Order. I realize they're baby faces, but it's called the Dark Order. We had a segment with Sting and Darby, which appears to be setting up a street fight with Sting and Darby taking on Taz's crew. So, obviously, we'd have a cinematic match there to protect Sting. So, if you're wondering what Sting's doing, well, now it appears we know. He's going to wrestle or fight. We had a long storyline where apparently Omega is pretending that he was attacked by the Young Bucks so that he can turn Kenny on the Young Bucks, even though they didn't do anything. But we don't know that because we couldn't see what actually happened. Callus. Very clever. Callus, what did I say? You said Omega jumping on Omega or trying to fool Omega. Sometimes Omega jumps on Omega, Mike. Don't correct me. Hmm. Peter Avalon dashing Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes won, but they gave Peter Avalon a lot. Apparently a segment that some people didn't think Peter Avalon should have got so much, but he did. We can he talk about be. that. John Moxley gave a ton to Nick Camarodo, but then he beat him and afterwards vowed he'll take on anybody in this invasion. We had a bunch of matches set up for next week. Also, Matt Hardy and Private Party versus Top Flight and Matt Seidel. Matt Hardy has turned Private Party heel. They are now bad guys. Inner Circle meeting to set up the main event. Layla Hirsch and Penelope Ford. Layla Hirsch is really good, but she lost to Penelope Ford, of course. And then Miro demanded Charles the Butler tell Orange Cassidy that Miro is my new best friend, which I think broke Orange Cassidy's heart, but it's hard to tell. But he did look disappointed. And then the main event, Jericho and MJF versus Sammy Hager versus Santana and Ortiz. Next week, we got to find out the fallout. This match was just boom, 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 running up against the clock. Eight million things happening. It was fun. I thought it was a really good match. MJF rolls up Sammy, grabs the tights for the pin. So he screwed Sammy. And, of course, they've had a lot of issues back and forth. Sammy, he's going babyface at some, here soon, at some point here soon. NXT, we had a bunch of dusty classic matches. I thought there were a lot of upsets. Apparently, Dave didn't. But Kushida and Leon Ruff... Beat Gargano in theory, which also sets up Kushida versus Gargano because Kushida beat the North American champion clean. We had Killian Cross defeating Ashanti the Adonis and then killing him. So now Ashanti is not in the Dusty Classic. And I believe at the end here, I'll tell you who I think the replacement is. They've basically teased it. Imperium lost to Lucha House Party, but this did lead to the return of Alexander Wolf. Although, honestly, if you blinked, you missed it. He was like, there and gone. We had Casey and Caden beating Mercedes and Tony Storm. Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter beat Mercedes, Martinez, and Tony Storm. I'll talk about that one later. Tyler Rust lost to Bronson Reed. So they've just put Malcolm Bivens and Tyler Rust together. But Tyler's already signing himself to matches that Malcolm doesn't like. And they're, they have dissension. They just got together. Wasn't a fan of that. We have Santos Escobar doing a promo. He's going to defend the title against Kurt Stallion next week. They set this match up two months ago. I thought this match happened on 205 Live. It didn't. They set up a match two months ago, and finally Kurt Stallion actually debuted on NXT, and they'll do a title match next week. And then Thatcher beat Ciampa via tap out. Ciampa tapped out in the fight pit match. And afterwards, they seemed to have some begrudging respect for each other. And then, after the show went off the air as Thatcher was leaving, he hinted that he might take Ashanti the Adonis's place in the Dusty Classic. So, I like the show. There's storyline progression. There's good matches. A lot of stuff to like about NXT and AEW last night. And after the break, we'll get all of your thoughts on what you liked best. Mike, any comments on any of this? And they both they both moved things along, I thought, in an okay way. I thought NXT was the better show. I thought it flowed better. I thought it was better produced. 
Um, AEW, there was a lot of corniness, a lot of, of goofiness, but it certainly straightened itself out as it went along. Penelope Ford and Layla Hirsch, you know, I was hoping that we'd get a... After Nyla Rose dropped out, I wasn't sure who we were going to get for Layla Hirsch, but I was hoping it would be somebody. I kind of, as soon as I saw Penelope Ford, I kind of cringed a little bit because it was like, well, okay, this is going to be all about Penelope Ford and continuing to get over the angle with Miro and Kip and, and everybody else. But the match itself, I thought they apparently have a background from, I guess, being in CZW or whatever in New Jersey. So I thought they worked with each other well. And I thought even though the main point of getting all that story over more with Chuck and all all that stuff Layla Hirsch looked really good and she's a really unique character and I like her a lot and they did keep her safe and all of that stuff so I know we're coming up on break and there's a lot we can talk about about a lot of this stuff but I thought both shows ended really well and no surprise as I think a lot of people predicted I think you did on the show with Dave early this morning Timothy Thatcher and uh uh Chomp are together now and are officially replacing uh, everybody or whoever it was there, uh, Denzel and whatever. And the the all right, back in a moment, Observer Live. We have some sort of technical issue. I say it's on the byline side, but today, what did you do, dude? You just kept going on and on and on, and I pumped the music as loud as I could, and you just kept going on and on and on, and I finally, had nothing. finally, I was about to go to break, and like, just your internet dropped. Well, executive producer extraordinaire, everything stayed up on my side. Are you sure it wasn't an no, issue it didn't on your stay end? Up. Yeah, I just said it was an issue on my end. Doesn't mean it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. My issue internet on was your like, end. is this guy going to stop talking before break or what? This is so stupid. And then the internet oh, took matters into its own hands. Can we get back on topic here? Dude, I don't even know what your topic was. I was trying to... You're an idiot. ...play the music as loud as I could. Can we get some professionals around this place, please? Well, You're yeah, professionals. It's called me and Dom. Jesus, don't drag him down anymore. What are you talking about? Dom's a great man. Let's look at some text messages here. Dear, oh, by the way, I, before I go to that... Okay. Now listen. Sometimes I come on this show and say... This is speculation on my part, and I make it abundantly clear that I'm just speculating about a future direction or this or that or whatever. All right? Now, All right. now, what I'm about to say, I would prefer if nobody listening to this made some internet story out of it, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but I was actually told this by one person at NXT this morning. I've not heard this from a second person yet, but one person did tell me this. Now, plans can change. People can smarten up. But th I was told this, okay? And I can't even believe it, so don't even make a story about it, because I can't believe that this would actually happen. Do you understand? Like, somebody in the next seven days has got to go, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. We, we can't actually do this. I was told... That last night, after Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter got their upset win in the Dusty Classic, and Casey did this spectacular full-twisting back senton to win, which I believe was only the second time in her entire NXT television career that she ever pinned somebody. Second time. That's a key to this story. And then they went backstage and they celebrated... And they talked about how they were going to win the Dusty Classic. And they were all confident. I was told that that was supposed to be the beginning of a heel turn. For who? For Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter. <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot <laughs> believe this. So uh, I'm praying that if this is true, that sometime over the next week, cooler heads prevail and you make this right. Dude, Casey Canzaro, she's not the greatest worker in the world, but she's a can't miss baby face. If you want to tell some story that plays off that she was on American Ninja Warrior and maybe that she gets all cocky 
and that all of these other women aren't athletes like she is. Like, there's a way to do it down the road, maybe, okay? But dude, like I said, she's gotten two pins in four years on the television show. You can't make this work right now. You need to just go all the way with her as a baby face. And then maybe down the road, you can maybe think about it. But this is like turning Rey Mysterio heel. Tell me how many times Rey Mysterio has turned heel in his career. And how, how well it got over. Oh, never? Not one time? Okay, because animals. when you're the size of Casey, and you look like Casey, and you could do what Casey does, like, this can't work! Now, maybe they can prove me wrong. But they certainly cannot do this starting now. That was like, how is that a heel promo? They won, and they were excited, and they vowed to win the whole thing, and it would be a big upset. That's a babyface thing! I don't know. I'm praying, I'm praying that this is not what's actually happening right now. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.